Hi guys. So I just wanted to come on real quick and share something that um, I received on Saturday night. When I got home, I watched a few videos and I watched um, the three videos that Diana Landris put up. And Saturday night when I went to bed, I was just praying and asking the Lord if which I knew that the Lord was definitely speaking through Diana. So I had prayed and asked the Lord for a confirmation. And I had a really rough night sleeping. My husband ended up in the urgency care. And um, we've just been going through a lot the last couple days. So that's one thing I'm asking. If you guys can lift my husband Mike up in prayer and ask for the Lord to heal him. Um, he's just struggling right now, and it's just in a tremendous amount of pain, and the painkillers and muscle relaxers aren't really working, so um, I just need the Lord to step in and heal him. Um, so that night, my husband had slept in the recliner, and I went to bed, and again, I was just praying and asking the Lord for confirmation on Diana's word. And I didn't get anything right away, so I was just, I was really trying to go to sleep, and I had rolled over, and I know I was still awake, but my eyes were closed, and I heard this stopwatch. It sounded like a stopwatch, and it was ticking. It was ticking kind of slow. It was like this. And then it just went really super fast, and then it stopped. And I knew right away that was from the Lord, but I asked for another confirmation. And a couple minutes later, this is what I heard, you guys. So that's pretty amazing that I found this YouTube video. Um, but I did hear three trumpet blows. It wasn't that fast. It was it was a little bit slower. It was like da, da, like three times. And um and then just this morning I watched Steve Fletcher's video on the summer solstice being a high watch time um which is tomorrow and Wednesday. The first day of summer as you guys know is on Wednesday. And if you have not watched Steve Fletcher's last video, please go watch it. I will leave the link in the description box below to his video and then also Diana Landris's last video. And then I encourage you guys to go watch the two prior to that. Um, but the Lord basically told her this is the last message that he was going to give her. And a few other people have stated that too. And you guys, this was just a confirmation last night or Saturday night about um, the stopwatch. I just felt like it was, you know, like the Lord was right there and clicked that timer. And that's how fast it's going to, the rapture is going to happen. Just in a split second, that stopwatch is going to stop and we're out of here. And the trumpet's going to blow, you guys. So... I just wanted to come on and share that and um, just encourage you guys that are still on the fence, that are still lukewarm, that, you know, time is up, you guys. It, it truly is. The Lord is not going to wait much longer. The encouraging thing that I watched last night as well was a video from Mark Ekawami, and he had... Um, stopped this gentleman and this he was a young guy probably early 20s and you could tell he kind of had a dark side to him just by what he was wearing and what he looked like and I hate to judge people by um their appearance but it was just basically the shirt that kind of made me feel the darkness from this this young man and um Tom had did a prayer of healing and Jesus did heal him and he was just so amazed and he started crying and Tom asked him if he wanted to give his life to the Lord and he did so 
you guys, with that, it's just the Lord is waiting for those lost sheep to finally come to him. He is, he is crying out. He's telling everybody it's time. And <clears throat> you guys know he just doesn't want anybody to perish. He does not want anybody to go through the tribulation. But that time is coming where that door is going to shut and it's going to be done. And um, he's not going to reopen that door. And we're out of here. So I encourage you guys, if you're not walking with the Lord, to look up the sinner's prayer. Ask for forgiveness. Repent of your sins. Surrender your lives to the Lord. There is nothing in this world that is worth holding on to. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let it go. Kill your flesh. Um, this life on earth is so very short. I mean, so very short. And even if life was to continue, which I'm like 99.9%, .9 it's not going to. But if it did, even 10 years goes by so very fast. And nobody's promised tomorrow. And um, all the signs are pointing to Jesus coming now, you guys. So don't put it off one more second. Not one more second. Surrender. And um, you will not regret it. You guys do not want to miss the rapture. You do not want to miss the wedding feast of the Lamb. And the more the merrier. I always say that. The more the merrier. And um, again, there's nothing worth holding on to. And it's all going to be gone anyways once the tribulation begins. It's all going to be gone. Um, so all you guys that are mocking and scoffing, you better repent as well. You know, it's not a coincidence that all of us are getting, this is it, time is up, the Lord is coming, this is the final warning. And we got to remember the parable of the fig tree. We got to remember scripture. Scripture is the biggest key to what we're pointing at. And you, we cannot deny the Revelation 12 sign any longer. Um, and I've always said this. The church is not mentioned after Revelation 4, guys. It's not. I'm pretty positive we're, we're not going to see the Revelation 12 sign um, but you guys, I'm going on eight minutes, and I still got so many things to do, and I'm leaving town again on Wednesday, and I won't be back till Sunday. So if I get anything by Wednesday again, I'll do a video. If not, I will do a video come Monday or Tuesday if we're still here and update you on anything else that I get. Um, but you guys, get ready. It's time to go home. It, it's... It's time to go home. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. God bless.